A couple of days ago, Android developers across the world received another policy update from Google, which means no more sideloading, unless... unless you verify your identity and the app ownership. Regular Android users will uh, no longer have an option to install uh, third-party apps on their devices. So yes, Google is uh, trying to enforce uh, security policies, which uh, we already have with Apple. Now, as always, uh, these kind of uh, emails are uh, quite concise, and you gotta read between the lines to figure out what's happening. But don't worry, in this video I'm gonna explain uh, everything you need to know that uh, might concern you as an Android developer. So if you are already distributing your uh, Android applications through the Play Store, uh, then you don't have to worry about anything. Because in that case, it uh, probably means that you have already verified your identity and assigned uh, all your Android applications. But if you are a, a third-party developer who's uh, distributing your applications through some uh, third-party uh, websites, or uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp groups, then this uh, policy is for you. So you will also have to verify your identity as well as assign your application, even though you're distributing those applications outside of the Play Store. So in practice, this means that uh, Google is uh, working on uh, some kind of a new Android developer console specifically made for uh, students and uh, hobbies developers. However, uh, one sentence uh, really got my attention here. Now, here they didn't actually elaborate uh, what does that mean exactly, but my first guess is that uh, these kind of uh, hobbies developers might have a limited access to some uh, Google services. Because personally, I don't see any reasons uh, why would they create a separate uh, Android developer console specifically made for developers uh, who's uh, distributing applications outside of the Play Store. It doesn't make any sense. So now we come to the question why. Well. Isn't that obvious? Security is always the reason for introducing these kind of policies. According to them, they say that uh, as the new threats emerge, we have continued to evolve our defenses. Following uh, recent attacks, including those uh, targeting people's financial data on their phones, we have worked to increase developer accountability to prevent abuse. We have seen how malicious actors hide behind anonymity to harm users by impersonating developers and using their brand images to create convincing fake applications. The scale of this threat is significant, and our recent analysis found over 50 times more malware from internet side loaded sources than on the apps available on the Play Store. So this basically means that uh, some people are obviously abusing their system, which affects their uh, users a lot. And I get that, so uh, balancing between uh, freedom and security has uh, always been a challenge. So if you are one of those developers uh, who's affected by this new policy, uh, according to their uh, new blog post, uh, they are gonna welcome you with an open arms. Which means that uh, you can now sign up for this uh, new early access program, where you're gonna be invited to an uh, exclusive discussion forum, where you will have a chance to provide your own uh, feedback. Which is kinda okay, I mean they are showing an interest uh, to hear what you have to say, so that they can have a clearer picture of uh, a direction in which uh, they are obviously headed to. So you can uh, visit this uh, link uh, right here and uh, sign up for this uh, early access, if if you are indeed uh, actually uh, using or uh, site loading your applications. Other than that, there are also a couple of uh, important information uh, uh, about those uh, deadlines that you need to know about. So right there on the bottom, let me just find those uh, timelines. Okay, so here. Uh, they say that the early access program will begin in uh, October 2025. Then a developer verification will begin in uh, March 2026. Uh, then we have a September 2026 uh, where the requirements will go into effect in Brazil, Indonesia, Singapore and Thailand. So at this point uh, any app installed on a certified device in these regions uh, must be registered by a, a verified developer. And then of course in uh, 2027 and beyond they will continue expanding and uh, rolling out this requirement uh, globally. Bottom line, uh, we're gonna wait and see uh, how this uh, new kind of uh, Android developer console will look like, uh, what kind of a feature it will offer, uh, what kind of uh, limitations, and other different things. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, share your thoughts, especially if you are indeed a developer who is uh, side-loading uh, its application through other different uh, mediums other than uh, Play Store. Share your story and uh, tell more about uh, what kind of uh, challenges you are facing uh, as, uh, as a developer in general. Uh, other than that, uh, drop a like if you find this video helpful and uh, thank you for watching.